Hey, I'm Robert from Master Guitar Academy. Today I'm going to talk about the Dorian mode, E Dorian more specifically. And I'm going to give you three ways to look at it. So since we're playing over E minor, one way that we can look at it is to go down a whole step and play the major scale. That means we play D major scale over an E minor chord. Then we get the E Dorian mode. And that's because the Dorian mode is the second mode uh, from the major scale. Uh, the second way I'll show you you can do this is to take the E minor pentatonic and then you add the second or ninth, same thing, as well as the sixth or the thirteenth, the natural second, the natural sixth. Then you also get the E Dorian mode. Then the third way is to take, in this case, a G major triad and an A major triad. You add those two to the E minor chord and mix it in with the E minor pentatonic, you also get that Dorian sound. So I hope you like this. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube videos if you like the work I do here. And check out my website, Master Guitar Academy, where I actually have a course on finding these major and minor triads all of the neck, which you might find helpful. All right, let's have a look on the fretboard. So here is the E Dorian mode. I'm sure you've heard that sound a million times, right? So one common way that it is explained is that it's second mode from the major scale. So if I'm playing in E minor, if we go down one whole step, we get D major. I'm playing a, a major scale one whole step down from, from E Dorian. So that means D major. So those notes are the same as E Dorian. But the difference is I am starting on the second note of D major, so that's E. That's my first chord tone. The second one would be G, and the third one would be B. So that's uh, one way you can look at it. Second mode of the major scale, you get Dorian. And it's a minor scale because it has the minor third. It's the note G here. And another way that we can look at an understanding and explaining this mode is if we take the E minor pentatonic, which is five notes. And then we add the second and the sixth to that mix. Then we get seven notes. Then we get, here's the one. Here's the seven. Here's the sixth, the new note. Here's the fifth. Here's the fourth. Here's the third. And here is the second. You can also view it as a ninth if you like, same thing. So that, then we have the E minor pentatonic with two added notes. Those two. And then we get the E Dorian.
And the note that gives it its tension is that major six. To me, that's the sound of the... Uh, it's a sound of the Doran mode. And of course, you have to remember it is a minor scale, so you have to have the minor third. It's a great sound, and you can use it over a lot of stuff. Now, let me show you another cool thing with this mode. I've been teaching triads on my website for a while. I've been teaching my students different grips for three note chords, triads. And the cool thing with the Doran mode is that we can play a major triad one and a half whole steps above, so that would be G major. And let's look at this voicing for it. This is a, a triad voicing. G. So we have the fifth here, the root note here, and the major third here. So we can take that triad and move it up a whole step to A, And the cool thing here is that we have the same grip, just a triad, one whole step above the first one, and those notes are included in the Dorian mode. So if you know these triad voicings, you can use them to play really melodically over an, uh, a minor chord. Just think about uh, you know, one and a half whole steps or three frets above the chord, the minor chord you're playing. That's where you play a triad. And then you take that same triad and move that one up a whole step. So then you get the door in mode. Because in the A major triad, that's the major third for A, and that is that note that makes the Dorian sound. From the perspective of E minor, that's the sixth. Right? So you can use that uh, to blend that in with your pentatonic stuff, and it can sound really cool. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit.